Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back with an empties video. I know I've just done one of these probably a month ago, month and a half ago or something. But like I mentioned, I wanted to start doing them more frequently so I didn't have a overbearing amount of products. And I actually only had this a little bit over half full, so hopefully it won't take too long. Plus my battery's dying, so the lighting in my viewfinder keeps going from really bright to darker. Hopefully it's not doing that on the footage, but this video won't be as long as my other one but we'll go ahead and get into it it's mostly like hair products and skin products and bath stuff and things like that but the first thing that i have is this bath and body works pocket bag and strawberry vanilla sugar and like always i'm just going to tell you if i would repurchase or not i would repurchase this this scent is amazing i think i actually bought like four or five of these because when i smelled it in the store i was like yes honey i love anything strawberry from bath and body works so i have that and i would repurchase and like always, I have some chapsticks. I have the Classic Strawberry, the Gingerbread Kiss, and the uh, Moisture Vanilla Mint. I absolutely loved all of these. The Vanilla Mint was my absolute favorite. And I buy chapstick all the time, so yes, I would repurchase. And then I have some Nature Love Essential Oil and Lavender. I've really been into essential oils lately. I have a diffuser in here, in our bedroom, and in the living room. And we usually do like lavender blends in the bedroom room at night because Riley's a pit bull mini pincher mix so she's really hyper and the lavender scent really helps calm her down if she's in one of her little moods she's looking at me right now because she knows I'm talking about her but I don't have a specific brand of essential oil that I prefer over the other but I did like this nature love brand and I would repurchase I have this clean and clear advantage acne spot treatment this is a salicylic acid acne medication I did really like this but I mentioned this several months back but I'm still in love with it um, I prefer the Paula's Choice acne treatment over this acne treatment. This acne treatment does work really well, but I feel like after a while it doesn't do as much as it did whenever I first started using it. My hair is acting crazy right now, but um, I did like this. I'll probably repurchase this later, but not anytime soon. And then I have a sample of the Derma E Firming DMAE Eye Lift. And I absolutely love this stuff. I actually have the full size in the bathroom right now that I'm using. And I think I've used that one halfway up already. But I absolutely love this and I will repurchase once the full size runs out. And then I have three of the e.l.f. Daily Hydration Moisturizers. This one has maybe one or two more uses in it, but I went ahead and grabbed it for the video because it'll probably be gone tomorrow, to be honest, because CJ and I both use this at night. But we have already repurchased this. I think that since I bought this the first time, we've probably been through, no joke, 15 of these. We love this stuff. Um, it's very affordable. It's like $8 on Elf's website. And I get it a lot when they have it on sale or 50% off or something like that. I absolutely love this stuff. My fiance loves this stuff as well. So yes, I will repurchase probably very soon because I only have one more backup left. And then I have two of the Derma E Purifying Gel Cleansers. This is the Active Charcoal Cleanser. This is their old packaging and this is their new packaging. So that's why they look different, but it's the same product. But this brand is cruelty-free, gluten-free, GMO-free. It's a really, really good brand, but I absolutely love this stuff. This is one of those cleansers that make my skin feel really super clean. And this is for normal to oily skin. I don't know how it will work on dry skin, but for my combination oily skin, it's worked fantastic. I think I've been through four of these and yes, I would repurchase. I'm actually out right now. I need to go find it. I think it's at my Meyer or Walgreens or something around here, but I'm completely out. Don't have any more backups, so I'm going to have to go buy this very soon. And then another staple for us is the Clean and Clear Advantage Acne Control 3-in-1 Foaming Wash. And you guys probably think that I never try anything else because I always have like a bajillion of these. But I try other stuff, but I always just come back to this. This is really effective. It's really affordable. You can find it at basically any drugstore. And CJ likes it as well. We do have it in both bathrooms right now. But we have already repurchased this. I think I repurchased one last week. And then I have the Jarrell Parker Fango Mud Therapy mask and this is for face and body i really liked this i already have another similar one and i love any type of mud mask i think it really helps my skin i'll talk about this a little bit more in my like skincare video that i want to do pretty soon but i use mud mask on my face but i also use masks like on the backs of my shoulders and stuff because i tend to break out there as well and since i started doing that it's been 110% better. I only get a few breakouts now as opposed to a lot of them that I used to get. 
but I absolutely love this. This really helped like clean out my pores and things like that. And this sample actually lasted quite a long time. But after I go through my other sample that I have of a similar Jarrell Parker mask, I'm going to buy this full size because I absolutely loved it. And then I have a couple of things that are CJ's. They weren't mine, but I wanted to show them because I love the smell of them. But the first thing that I have is the Axe Body Wash in Black. And I can smell it right now. It smells so good. I love men's products. Is that weird? I feel like a lot of women love the scent of men's things, but my mom actually got this for him for christmas and he really liked it he's not picky over body wash he actually uses the bath and body works men's line but this was the first time that he had ever tried an axe body wash and he really really enjoyed it and this is a huge bottle so it lasted him quite a long time and i will probably repurchase this sometime soon after he runs out of his bath and body works one and then I have his latest cologne that he went through. But this is what the bottle looks like. I'm not even going to try to say that because any type of perfume that has a name like that, I always butcher it. So I'm not even going to try. But I bought this for him. It smells so good. I love Giorgio Armani at Colognes. I'm actually going to buy him another one very soon. But it took him forever to get through this. This is one of those colognes that you don't need to like drown yourself in it. A couple of sprays does the trick. I think I bought this for him like two and a half or three years ago. Granted, he does have several colognes that he uses interchangeably. But this lasted forever to be one of those like very few that he does have. But this is an amazing scent. If you haven't smelled this, I know mostly women watch my channel. But for your husband, fiance, whatever, um, boyfriend, anything, guy friend. If you haven't smelled this scent, definitely go smell it. Because Giorgio Armani has some amazing colognes. And then I have the Vanilla Berry Sorbet Bath & Body Works Deep Cleansing Hand Soap. This is actually one of my favorite scents from Bath & Body Works. They have a lot of scents that I love, but every time I see this, I get several of them because they don't always have this scent out. I'm pretty sure it's only during like the, what do you call it, semi-annual sales that they have this, but I'm not completely sure. But I absolutely love this scent. It's just one of my favorites. I actually think I have a couple more backups and I would repurchase. Then I have a small body lotion. This is the Winter Candy Apple from Bath & Body Works. Love this scent. I actually purchased several like Winter Candy Apple things. I got the body wash. I got the, um, what is it? The wallflowers. I got the lotions. I got the spray. Winter Candy Apple is probably my favorite scent they have in their winter collection. So I'm always going to repurchase this. And then I have the Maui Triple Moisture Body Cream from Bath & Body Works. I always have a million things from Bath & Body Works in these um, empties videos. But this one smelled amazing. This is a really great scent for summertime. And I don't have a backup of this right now. And I don't know if they keep this in stores or if it's just a semi-annual sale item. But I am going to check because I absolutely love this scent for summertime. And last are body products and hair products. So the first thing that I have are dry shampoos just like I always do and I have the Batiste Dark and Deep Brown. This is the Batiste Divine Dark. I really don't see any difference in them. They're both like a dark colored dry shampoo but I absolutely love Batiste and I love keeping these around especially when my hair starts growing out because this isn't my natural color. If you've been with me for a while you know that. My natural color is more of like a dirty blonde color and when it starts showing through it looks like i have major gray roots it's so bad but this helps me with my oil but it also helps me cover those roots up whenever i haven't had time to like go get my hair colored and stuff like that but you guys will probably always see these in empties videos i absolutely love this and it's super affordable then I have the Psst Dry Shampoo, and I love this stuff, but I feel like with darker hair, it's a lot harder to use because you really have to work like the white cast out. This is one of the dry shampoos that it does leave a white cast, and it really does take a little bit to massage it into your scalp. And sometimes I even have to grab like a towel and stuff to get the excess off so my hair doesn't look like it has that white cast. But the only reason that I purchased this was because I could not find the Batiste at the time because they were sold out at my grocery store. But I would repurchase this, but I wouldn't repurchase it if I found the Batiste. This is like my backup. This and the Not Your Mother's are like backups if I can't find the other one. 
And then I have the Neutrogena Shampoo Anti-Residue Formula. I do have a fine flat hair and when I use products and stuff, I get build up really, really quick. So I have to use a like anti-residue shampoo at least once a week. And this is the one that I've been using lately. I think it's like $4.99 at the drugstore. And I actually got mine cheaper because it was on sale when I bought it. But this is an amazing clarifying shampoo. And I've actually already repurchased this. And I will continue to repurchase this. I feel like this works a lot better than my other clarifying shampoos that I've used in the past. And then I have the OGX Beauty Weightless Hydration Coconut Water Conditioner. This is a travel size. I like this stuff. We actually still have the shampoo in there because we just pulled this out because we ran out of another conditioner. And I would repurchase this stuff. And I really think that the hydration is weightless. Like it says, it does really well with my hair. But I don't like it in conjunction with the shampoo. When it comes to my hair, any type of conditioner that has moisturizing properties in it are okay. Because I only use it from here down. But when it comes to shampoos, they tend to weigh my hair down really bad. So the shampoo I'm going to give to CJ, let him use it. But this was fine for me and for him. He liked it and I liked it. And of course... Anything that smells like coconut is just amazing to me. But I did like this and I would repurchase. But I have a shampoo and conditioner that I really like right now. So I wouldn't repurchase this anytime soon. And then I've got two more hair products from OGX. I have the Hydration and Repair Argan Oil of Morocco Shampoo. I did not use this because I tried it once. It weighed my hair down. So I let CJ use this. I may repurchase this for him if he wants it. If not, then I wouldn't repurchase it. And I have the anti-breakage and keratin oil conditioner. I like this and he did too. I feel like it really helped moisturize my hair, but not overly moisturize it. So I would repurchase this if I seen it in a store and maybe it was on sale or something. But then I have some toothpaste and this is just another one of the Crest 3D White Luxe toothpaste. And this is in Glamorous White. This is our go-to toothpaste. We use it all the time and we did repurchase this. I have the Frosted Coconut Snowball Shower Gel from Bath & Body Works and the Winter Candy Act. You guys know that I love Bath & Body Works shower gels and I have a ton of them as backups already to keep me going until the next semi-annual sale so I will always do purchase these. And last I have the Avon Winter Classics Bubble Delight. This is a frosted winter berry a bubble bath and Julie actually sent this to us. It was I think it was more for CJ because she sends him a little Christmas gift as well. But she sent this I think two years ago and it's lasted forever. I was so surprised because the littlest amount gave you a full tub of bubbles. And we used this but we used other stuff as well so it didn't last like a full two years because we used like Lush and things like that. But we did use this quite a bit especially in the winter time and this stuff is so amazing. I would definitely repurchase this if I ever had somebody that was selling Avon around me because this is a huge bottle and I'm pretty sure it's really really inexpensive as well and I love the way it smelled. Alright guys, it's pretty much it for this empties. This one went a lot quicker than the ones that I usually do because I didn't wait like five months to do it. But give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and comment down below and let me know what you have used up lately and if you would repurchase or not. And don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.